everybody, welcome to Panel Surfing. It's special editorial month here on the show, and today we've got editor extraordinaire Dave Marshall. Uh, you may know his name from Tomb Raider or Halo. He's, uh, he's involved in both those comics. How are you, Dave? Doing good, Steve. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So we're here today to talk about a book that is actually not a licensed title. It's called The Tomorrows. Um, and as an editor, I was wondering what initially appealed to you about uh, about the pitch for the book because it is a really interesting pitch. Yeah. So I had worked with the writer Kurt Piers um, and one of the artists on this project, Jason Copeland, on this series called Pop. So I was really eager to do more with Kurt and Jason. And so as we were winding up on Pop. They uh, came to me with the tomorrows, and uh, yeah, I was I was sold right away. It's a, it's a, a really interesting series, uh, features a, a team of characters in the future, um, and each issue is going to be drawn by a different artist. So Jason draws the first uh, issue, but then we have five other really talented artists doing the, the remaining part of the series. How do you feel like the tomorrows maybe follows up on a couple of themes that Kurt previously worked with in uh, Pop? So I think uh, both series, uh, Kurt is very much engaged with our current media landscape and exploring uh, what that means for our society. So Tomorrow's um, it jumps into the future and Kurt is really exploring um, where our social media is going and uh, so it takes place in a world where all of the oversharing that we've been doing has finally been essentially weaponized against us. And uh, I think it's particularly prescient in discussions about uh, internet privacy and, and things like that. And, and so the Tomorrows are uh, a team of individuals who are actively fighting against um, this new corporate state. But how much does the does the book actually draw a parallel between uh, you know interactions online in the future versus what we do today? Well, I think that um, the tomorrows they're all creative individuals. Um, we've sort of talked about them as artistic terrorists. There there's some real ambiguity about them. It's not. Uh, a situation where they're clearly the good guys and they're clearly fighting the bad guys. And so so I think what's interesting and fun about this story is that they're, when we say artistic terrorists, it's like they're artists and they're fighting with art, but they're also terrorists and they're fighting with bombs. Right. You know, yeah. and, uh, uh, and sort of how those things interact with each other and what that means. But what's been you know your favorite aspect of editing this book so far? You've edited a ton of books for Dark Horse, very experienced editor. What sort of makes this project a little more unique from some of the other ones you've done in your career? I, uh, I really like how Kurt and the artists that he works with are bursting with fresh ideas. There's a tremendous amount of ambition in this project. There was in Pop as well. Um, these guys are really pushing the envelope, um, and they're they're not afraid to take risks. Um, and uh, it's very exciting as an editor to be a part of that. There's a great conversation that's happening among creator-owned comics right now. Uh, so many great original ideas on the shelf every month, um, and uh, and I think the tomorrow's is going to stake its claim in that conversation and, and move things forward. Well, I'm, uh, I know I'm really excited to, to read it, and I'm, I know people are excited to get their hands on it. So thanks so much for being here, Dave. Thanks a lot, Steve. To figure out how you can weaponize art, be sure to check out The Tomorrows and the store near you. Uh, for Dave Marshall, I'm Steve Sanu, and this is Panel Surfing.